Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to show you how to simply and easily uh, hand wind a skein of wool. Uh, so this is a skein, sometimes called a hank, uh, and uh, a lot of yarn uh, comes, up, comes this way these days. Um, and uh, we get questions sometimes from people of, about how to easily wind a skein, so I thought I'd show you how I do it. So this is what your skein looks like when you bring it home. So the thing to do is open it up. And as you can see, I am sitting comfortably. I'm going to show you what I do. I put it around my knees. And you're going to find that there are usually at least one or two spots where the skein is tied. Usually the two ends are tied together at some point. So you're going to snip there and undo that like that. And then over here, I noticed there was another tie where the um, label was. So I'm going to take that off. And again, just snip where you find it or break it. There we go. Okay, so that is it for where it was tied. The main thing is, is you want to make sure that it's completely, um, that there are no sort of kinks in it, or I, I call it crossed wires, where you know, you have a piece that is crossed over to the other side. Just have a look at it and make sure that everything is where it needs to be. And you've got a full oval of yarn happening. And then if you're, if you've got someone to hold the skein for you while you wind it, that works. But this is how I do it if I'm at home and I just want to, to get a skein wound. So like I say, I cut where the two ends were, put it around my knees. And then just literally start to, oh, hang on, there's one more tie right there. Let me get rid of that one. Literally start to roll. And it doesn't matter which side you roll from, of course, you just start to roll. Um, if you didn't want to sit with it around your knees, you could put it on the back of a chair or on uh, a doorknob, hanging from the doorknob, that sort of thing. But I always find it easier to have it wrapped, wrapped around my knees. Sometimes if I'm feeling extra flexible, I'll put it around my feet like that. Um, but knees are definitely the easiest and quickest way, low, low tech way. And then from there, you're just going to start rolling. If you keep it taut, it's easier to roll. But by doing that couple minutes at the beginning of making sure that my um, my loop, if you will, of yarn was a complete uh, oval and that there were no, you know, pieces that were on the other side that should be on the on this side. And by double checking, you can always look to and see you'll see one that's out of place in general um, and you just start rolling and I just roll. I don't roll fancy. Um, balls I just start rolling and then make a make a nice uh, little ball and keep going so yeah so like I say keep it taut on your knees and you're good to go so that's how we do it happy knitting